Hey guys, James here with Water for Business Solutions, and I wanted to real quick um, go through how to merge duplicate customers or customers in QuickBooks that may be the same customer. I'm in my test account, so I don't have a ton of similar customers, so I'm going to just create me a duplicate customer here real quick just to give you the idea. And duplicate customers are created when you have a customer that while they have the exact same name um, or the exact same address, location, they're the exact same person, you've given them a different display name. QuickBooks dis distinguishes all of your customers by the display name. So if you add like an extra period or a mister or you change the first name to the last name, stuff like that, then it's going to end up creating some issues where you get multiple different customers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put myself in as a duplicate customer again. But instead of doing James Griner like I already have in here, I'm going to change it to Griner, James. What you're going to see right here is if we go and we look at your customers, now we're going to have two James Griners here. They're the exact same person. So what we would normally do here is we would just take the name that we want, so the regular James Griner, and we would, we would name the other one the exact same thing. So all we would need to do is we'd need to come in, find that customer, click on it, hit edit up here, and we would rename this display name so that it matches exactly. However, this one's going to be a little special, and I'll explain it in just a second. When we go to hit save, it should merge them together. And it's going to give us this warning sign right here. That name is already used. Would you like to merge the two? Yes. And actually, this one did go ahead and merge because I didn't have anything underneath the sub-customer. So that's all you need to do there for merging customers is just make sure that they're named the same once you save it, it will automatically merge, merge all their information, all their jobs, everything like that. The stipulation to that is, as you see here, is I have a sub-customer here. But since this sub-customer is all the way closed out, cleaned out, ready to go, it does allow me to merge it together. If you have a sub-customer or multiple sub-customers, then most of the time, QuickBooks will not allow everything to merge due to the fact that it can create some errors with everything. So generally one sub-customer you'll be fine, multiples you won't. If you've got an open invoice or an open payment or something like that, you're going to have issues there. So if you have a customer with sub-customers, you may not be able to merge it. But if you have a customer that is just a regular old customer, all you have to do is take, and again I'll show you. Ooh, I did that wrong, sorry about that. All you have to take is rename that customer. And it will prompt you right there to go ahead and merge it. It's that simple. As always, guys, if you've got any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us an email, and we'll be happy to help you all there. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.